Gorsham's green thumb. All right, let's see. Does he have any? Hello to you. Nope, no other dialogue. Yes, that is so. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's take care of the picture. There we go. All right, so we have a Nutra Good Lightfoot Halfling Cleric. Deity is Sheila. Domain Animal and Plant. That's interesting. All right, so he's got a very high wisdom with 18 and a very good dexterity of 16. Gives him a plus 3 bonus to dexterity. Uh, let's see. And above average in charisma and intelligence and strength and a low constitution. Gives him a minus 1. You know, I think what I'll do is I'll pass those of boots of hardiness, which increase constitution plus one. Let's give them the Gosham so we can wish? sort out that problem with the hit points. So let's see, his hit points were 28, so equipping the boots brings him up to 32 and then gives him an armor class increase also. So let's take a look at Gosham's cape. Ooh, ghostly visage. Hide bonus and ghostly visage. Hmm. Ghostly visage. Let's put that in a quick slot. Animal companion too. Also, okay. Let's let's look at the rest of this stuff here before we deal with the equipment. Okay. So concentration is good. Heals good. He's got hide and listen. A little bit of a lore. Good spellcraft. Good survival skill. What's he got for feats here? Heavy, light, and medium armor, shields, simple weapons. Augment healing again, divine resistance. That's pretty common ones. And let's see, racial feats, fearless, plus two bonus saving throws. Versus fear, a good aim, plus one attack bonus on attacks made with throwing weapons. Hmm. He's lucky, plus one racial bonus to all saving throws. Skill affinity to listen, plus two bonus to listen, plus two bonus to move silently. And small stature. They gave bonuses to their attack rolls, armor class, and hide checks when dealing with larger creatures. Because of their small size, they also cannot use the following weapons. Great axes, great swords, halberds, quarterstaffs, scythes, and spears. Okay, class abilities. Let's see, we have the animal domain, which gives me an animal companion, which I have. And access to the following spells earlier, Cat's Grace and True Seeing. And the plant domain. I get the Woodland Stride ability, the clerk's movement rate is increased by 10 in outdoor and natural areas. Uh, and early access to entangle, bark skin, poison, mass camouflage, vine mine. That's good. That's a good one right there. And of course, spontaneous conversion, turn undead, and there's the woodland stride that I get from the plant domain. Okay, so I got turn undead and summon animal companion there. Okay, so since this character has a good dexterity, think this one is going to be definitely using missile weapons only so let's equip that, equip that and we have some potions okay back to the armor so we got Gosham's cape Gosham's suit of green alright some light armor plus two let's see bonus three let's see can I handle that bonus yet? Okay, yeah, I got a max dex of 5, so that's good to go. Alright, so, let's continue on. I will lead now. Follow. Alright, moving on to the next building. I don't know what this one is. Some kind of house or something. All right, so we just walked into somebody. Sarah Berenson. Good tidings to you. Why, hello, I am Sarah Berenson, wife of Hamfast. You can find him in Swords Keep. 
Alright, so this is his house. Let's do a quick roam around here. We have a locked chest. And another door going outside, more than likely. What well, let's need? see. Let's get some thief skills going on here. Hopefully a paladin doesn't go crazy. Success. Light hammer work, master work. Okay, so we just ripped that off. That's cool. We had to actually do a moose silently check too, I guess, to see if we can sneak that. Let's see, who can yes, use this light so. hammer? Indeed. Let's see, the cleric can use it. So this is one to four and a plus one attack bonus. So if I equip that right now, a longsword gives me plus seven and one to eight plus three damage. So it's plus to eight and a one to four plus three. Better chance to hit but less damage. Hmm. Let me take the lead. We might be able to sell that. I will lead now. Follow. Yes. But you have need of the me? Paladin is the only one that can use that as of now, so. Alright. Alright, so let's get on out. Let's go out this other door. Alright, so we came out the side. Revelion! Greetings, newcomer. What is it you wish? What are you doing here? I'm a guard for the Sword and Dragon Inn. Do you mind if I ask you some questions? You might find my kinsman inside, the Lethius. More receptive to questions than I. Oh, farewell. <coughs> Drawn swords. Okay, well, there's a transition point. Let's look at our map. Okay. Antiquarium, Hamfast Bjornsson's home, Sword and Dragon Inn, to the world map, and Swords Keep. So. Alright, let's move this up here. Alright, so let's go back inside the inn. See if there's any new dialogue now. Alright, first thing, uh, Deluthless. You return, how may I serve you? I was just saying, hello. Okay. None of these guys had anything different to say, nope. Nope. Nothing new. Nothing new. Bolsovic. Why, hello. If you do not mind my saying so, sir, that hat of yours has seen better days. My hat. It is one of the most finely made specimens of haberdashery one can find outside Waterdeep. I agree that it is finely made, but I assure you that the fashion for that make of hat has passed. Nonsense. If you like, sir, I can remake your hat into something better suited for the day. It will only cost you fifty gold pieces. I have not been this upset since I found out my brother was dead. What do you think, Peldor? Do you think I should invest in an alteration to my hat? Hmm. Perhaps you should have it lined with fur for the approaching winter. Or it would be better if the hat had no brim and was more rounded at the top. In truth, Roman, I would prefer that if your hat were plain and modest skull cap. Hmm. A hood would suit you better. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. It would. I would like it better if it had no brim and it was more rounded at the top. There you are, sir. 
The hat has been altered to your friend's specifications. Hmm. Well... We will see if this suits me as well as the old design. Let's see what we got here. The Roman's hat was altered. Well, it's still the same, it just changes the appearance, I guess. Universal saving throws, deflection... Hmm. Damn, 50 gold for that? That was a kind of a waste. Okay. Let's see, does he alter more? Hmm. No, oh, that was interesting. Just changes his hat. Alright, these guys, nothing new to say. What about these guys? Carver! My, my, if it isn't Miss Lavilas. I can't believe we we're even being graced with her presence. You're a forward little blighter, Carver. Always have been. Good to lay eyes on you again, Miss Lavalis. Melancourt is always at your service. Why, Miss Lavalis, I do not think you look exception I do think you look exceptional this evening. May your humble servant Carver kiss the hand of Lily White? You have to stand on your toes to do that, Carver. Why not ask for her Lily White kneecap instead? Or Lily White, the big fellow stops when he catches the fierce glint in Ian's eye. Let us leave these clowns to their business, Pelor. We have better things to do. Suddenly mad. Now you listen here, Miss Lavilas. You came to town to look at a... and took all of Saren's swords real business unasked. What were we militiamen supposed to do with you parading around in that fancy armor guarding the path to town and scouting in our stead. You made us look like fools. I am good at what I do, and because I was here, I did not only... I did only what needed to be done for the good of all. I did not mean to make you look like fools. Good at what you do, eh? You can carry a sword and kill stray orcs, but you're not a real hunter. You don't belong in the backlands. You'll never know the land like we do. Let us leave these men to their cups, Ian. You are right, we have better things to do. Indeed. She begins to turn away. Ho oh, now! It seems like Lady Lavillis has brought herself some courtiers. This human lad and you are pretty tight, eh? And what else have you got? A mustache dandy that looks like he'd be better off in the city than out here in the wilderness. Here's some gossip for you, sir. The backlands ain't water deep. And peering down at Gosham. Oh no. I didn't see the other one. Is this little fellow your long lost cousin Carver? I hope not. He smells like either a turnip or a priest. I can't decide which. You're a disgrace to your height, Master Carver. I am well aware of that I am in the backlands. Nowhere else in the realms would such a talk as this passes wit. Stuck up city folk. You and your entourage aren't getting off so easily, Miss Lovelace. We have a challenge for you. Tell on, what is this challenge? Good, hear me out. Saren Sword have been protecting drawn swords for years. Real warriors, hunters, and men of the field and woods. I've killed as many boar in my lifetime as there are folk in this town. Then you've killed a total of three or so. That doesn't seem like many. Melancourt does not seem to have heard you. In all my time of hunting and fighting, though, there's one beast who's always eluded me. The backlands boar. I fought him once and he gored me and left me for dead. Ill made her will that I got back to town all right, but I've owed him one ever since. Hey, Melancourt, why don't you tell them all where you got gored? You could show them the scar, too. Shut up, you half-tanked and half-witted half-man. 
That boar is still alive. This I know for a fact. Some say he's dead, but he's at least a hundred years old, and I'll wager he'll live another hundred. By my stones, I've seen him twice since I fought him in the backlands, in a clearing north of town. You are challenging us to track down this backlands boar, I take it? Yes, my da told me stories of the backlands boar when I was as little as Carver. It's stronger and older and deadlier than any other boar in the backlands. I challenge you and Miss Lovelis to kill it. That'd go a long way to prove that Miss Lovelis deserves to be protector of drawn swords. If this is your challenge, then I accept. Far be it from any knight of the Ruby Rose to refuse an honorable challenge. Good then, I'll be waiting here. Bring back its head. And we do not need to prove anything to these men. I know, but the challenge was honorable. Besides, if Melancourt and his crew learn a lesson from this, it will be for their own good. I'm surprised you think these louts worth your time, Anth. If they are supposed to have been the protectors of drawn swords once, it may be that it is for the town's best interest that they be educated. Is that what you are thinking, Anth? Precisely, Gosham. You are quite perceptive. Though it seems strange to say, it is for the best, and I do it on behalf of the town as well as my own pride. But come, we have even more to do now than we did before. Alright, so we gotta go kill old damn boar. Let's go talk to Hezro. Anything new here? And nothing at the moment.